Hey everybody, this is Game Freak 10124. Welcome back to more of Let's Play Kirby and the Amazing Mirror. Just remember you can jump off the Kirby's to get height. Wonder if maybe this inspired footstooling and smash. Here comes an awesome soundtrack. It was brought back in, not this, what the room I'm about, I'm about to enter, an awesome soundtrack that was brought back, I think, for, like, I think it was remixed. And it was brought back for one stage in Kirby Squeak Squad. This version is better than the Squeak Squad version, though. This is such an awesome soundtrack. Oh, I need beam. I don't have much to say right now, hopefully that'll change at some point. Oh wait. Uh I think this is another Oh, no, it's not a mini star door. Yep. I knew I was coming up on the switch that you hit, and then this actually goes back into the previous room. So before continuing to go left, I'll, well, I explore this way, but I also kind of want to know where the map is to be able to better explore this stuff, so I'm going to go ahead and go to that video I looked up. Okay, here we go. I want to see Radish Ruins. Okay, so I'm going to be following this guy as I go through to the map is. This is why I did this, so it's to the left and not the right. I didn't want a chance at not getting to the right. Because again, I want to be able to explore as efficiently as possible. Let me see something real quick. Oh 
Energy Deposit. I need to check something, I apologize. No way. Okay, so I get to what the burning enemy is. Okay, so... There's somewhere you fall and there's another door. Here, I think. Yeah. <clears throat> the heck? Apparently these spikes don't damage you. I don't know how he didn't get damaged, but whatever. Okay, so now I can continue. So Okay, so where I'm going is going to be Back through room I guess I was just in, let's see. Yeah. And I'll get the goal. Stupid enemy. So you pretty much have to. I mean, that wasn't enough off screen for him to get respond good. Okay, there's nothing in the goal room for 100%, but I'm still going to the goal. I'd go for ice, but beam is better.
Let's see where I came from. Yeah, three different rooms. Two can only, you can only enter from one direction. A big room and then a gold, gold room on the right side. So where does this go? Up here. I guess I'll go this path first and then find the big room. One room, when one way room goes down. Okay, that goes to the goal room. I figured there was something since this wasn't a flashing room that meant there was something in here to collect. Interesting that the names of two of the three ring colors you get is in this game is Sapphire, which is a Pokemon game, and then Emerald, which is what I just got, which is also a Pokemon game. It's just interesting to have the novelty of being able to call the Kirby's the Hall book or but most of the time, they're not worth bothering with at all. Because, yeah, that'll just take me up, so... I think probably the way to go to get the, to that other... Actually, no. You can only get there, but it's probably the bottom path. Below the wheel path. The, get to that room, so... Oh, plus there's the big room. Okay, so that door... That'll lead up. So I guess I'll go there first. Cause that'll lead me back around to the one room that leads to that big room anyway. Or it'll take me to this room. Where does this go? Okay, this will probably take me to that bottom path then. It's just the maximum tomato, I don't need that. And then that one hammer switch is probably how you get to the big room. Yeah, I'm gonna call the other creepies to help us go by faster.
Here's the big room. Or thanks to treasure chest in the one room then. Or how do you get to that any rather? Maybe this switch will lead you to there? How do you get the frickin' chest in that room? Oh wait. Probably further this way then. Maybe. Here we go. There. Now it's entirely your right side is done. So, warp star. chance at redoing that, so... This leads to Carrot Castle. Don't have that open yet, but anyway... How the heck did you get here? I did that in case that bomb block and the steel blocks were hiding a chest. Okay, so where I came from, these areas. Not missing anything in any of the rooms I've been in. And these just go to rooms that all lead the same direction. So once I've taken this path to the boss and gotten all treasure chests in the treasure chests in these rooms, I'll be done with Radish Ruins. Another short area. I figured it'd respawn.
stupid enemy, go away! I just realized there's another ability that some golems can give you. They can all there's also one type of golem that might have been the one I just killed that can give you the wheel ability. Because they like roll around a little bit and when they do that actually you can get a wheel from them. Really? That's crap that you can't plan on the platform and going up through it like that with Final Cutter. Being careful of those bomber enemies. Yeah, the next room I think has a treasure chest. One of them going for this area having the vibes and, and or having the atmosphere and the uh, background of the quick draw sub game from Kirby's Adventure, Kirby Superstar, and Kirby Nightmare in Dreamland, and it was also brought back in uh, Kirby Superstar Ultra. I don't care, McAfee, go away. Yeah, I knew this room had a treasure chest. To be safe, I'll create our store. No, I was not trying to do that. Create our store point to be safe. Kind of a shame they didn't include the smash ability in uh, Kirby Fighters 2. <clears throat> Sword or cutter? No thanks. I've got smash. What the heck, Meta Knight? How am I fighting you? You got freaking trapped in that mirror. Interesting, he got dark. His color got darker before he took off, and his sword doesn't look like it's the right color either. Interesting. <laughs> 